innovation in the scientific community called haplotransplant, which is half match transplant. As we have become more advanced in our understanding of immunology of the body, our half match transplants will always be available because we will be always be half match to our brother and sister, will be all half match to our mother and father. So what is this half match? So like we, we tend to every day change our clothes, we match our clothes before we go out. Similarly for a bone marrow transplant, there is something called HLA matching. HLA that is human leukocyte antigen matching which is required for a bone marrow transplant to accept something from outside that is something own blood or outside blood from a sibling has to be accepted at that moment of time. If it is a match sibling which is 10 by 10 match, it is called match sibling transplant. Once it is not match, it is half match, it is called haplotransplant. The success rate for a haplotransplant is now in enhancing to 50 to 55 percent year by year. And the modality is becoming very, very popular in today's of shrinking world because we don't have ready donors which are available or the time taken for a match unrelated donor transplant is close to three months. So when we understand haplotransplants, we can take it from mother, we can take it from father, we can take it from brother and sister. How do we choose a bone marrow transplant in these circumstances when all four are available? If your patient is a female, then we tend to take it from a male which is younger, which does not has got antibodies inside the body, which means father or the brother. So younger the per person is, younger the stem cells are, better is the outcome. So dear friends, haploidentical transplant is a very, very potent modality to treat blood cancers like AML, ALL, myelodysplastic syndromes, CML who has failed three line of medication, sickle cell anemias and thalassemia in today's world because through this we can actually cure these people from their cancers, from their regular blood transfusions. Let us not be afraid of haploidentical transplant. Ask more about haploidentical transplant to your doctor. It is one of the most potent innovations in 21st century which mankind has seen.